Before we talk about caching policy, let's make sure we understand what the cache key is. So this is a unique identifier for every object in the cache, and it determines whether a viewer request results in a cache hit. So a cache hit occurs when the viewer request generates the same cache key as a prior request, and the object for the cache key is in the edge location's cache. A higher cache hit ratio, more people hitting the cache, will result in better performance. So a cache policy is used to determine the cache key. AWS has, uh, has managed cache policies for use. So we have Amplify, uh, Caching Disabled, Caching Optimized, Caching Optimized for Uncompressed Objects, Elemental Media Package. So I'm assuming the top one and the bottom one are specific to AWS Amplify and Elemental Media Package. Um, but the, the, the three in the middle are good to know. Let's open up just the, uh, the one there highlighted in red. And so you can see where the TTLs are set for it. You can see that it is not including the headers or cookies or query strings. It, it doesn't care about compression. So you get an idea of what can be set in there. I think that's all of the options that can be set in a cache policy. Um, so if we want to update our cache policy, we just uh, provide it here. And so in this example, we are setting a managed cache policy, right? So all these managed cache policies have cache policy IDs. You don't give it the name, you give it the, the, the ID and that's how you set it. Now you can create a custom cache policy. Um, and so we'll have settings for TTL. So you have your minimum, your maximum, your defaults. Uh, if all the values are zero, then you basically have disabled the cache, okay? Uh, you have cache settings. So uh, you could be uh, having a cache policy for headers, for cookies, for query strings, for compression support. So yeah, there it is, okay?